Hi boys and girls, today we're going to read The Bad Seed. The title's at the top, The Bad Seed. And the author is Jory John, and the illustrator is Pete Oswald. Remember, the author is the person who writes the words, and the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures. And we're talking about seeds, and we were talking about things that we find under trees today, which like acorns and pine cones and stuff like that, which have seeds. So I thought we could read the book called The Bad Seed. It's a book about really strong feelings. So what part of the book is this? This is the front. This is the back. And this is the spine. Remember, the spine has a very important job. It holds all the pages together. So before we start, I want to show you something on this book. You ever see a book and it has um, what looks like another piece of paper on top of it? This thing is called the jacket. And what do jackets do? It protects you. Just like this book has a jacket, it protects the the outside of the book so nothing happens to it. So this book has the jacket as well. So let's read The Bad Seed. All right, turn the computer so you can see me, the book. All right, I'm a bad seed, a bad seed. Yeah, it's true, the other seeds they look at me and they say, oh, that seed is so bad. And when they think I'm not listening, they mumble. There goes the bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell jokes with no punchline. I never wash my hands or my feet. I lie about pointless things. I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everyone's sentences that, and I never listen. And do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm the bad seed. A bad seed. Sounds like he has some pretty strong feelings, doesn't it? He's pretty mad about something. And I wonder if he would be so mad if someone would stop and say, what's wrong? How can I help you? So as we continue, I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in a re unremarkable field. I had a big family. The seeds were everywhere. We found lots of ways of having fun. We were so close. And how does everybody look? They all look happy. You're happy when you're with your family or a group of friends. But then the petals dropped and the flower drooped. And what happened to the seeds? They all fell out. And look at their faces. Oh, they look so scared. I think it would be scared. What if someone came to your house and turned it upside down and, ju and, and you fell out? It'd be crazy. It's kind of a blur. Look, the big rake's coming to get the little sunflower seeds. Uh-oh. I remember a bag, and then everything went dark, and then, then, look, okay, he's so sad and scared, a giant, oh no, have you ever eaten a sunflower seed? I thought I was a goner, I thought I was done for, I screamed and I hollered, ah, and then, patooey. I was spit out at the last possible second. Someone tried to eat him. I don't know. I think I'd be pretty mad if someone tried to eat me. I flew through the air and landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I became a different seed entirely. I became a bad seed. A oh, bad seed. That's right. I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can. I didn't care and it suited me. Until recently, I made a big decision. I decided that I don't want to be 
bad anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad, but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen sometimes and show up late and talk during movies. I do other bad things too, but I also say thank you and please and I smile and I hold doors open for people. Not always, but sometimes. And I never, and even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. And it's true, he's not. He just had some big feelings that he had to work through. Hey, look, there goes the bad seed. Actually, he's not so bad anymore. And he said, I heard that. The end. That was a pretty good story about that seed. He was having a pretty tough time. I think I probably would feel bad if someone took me from my home and tried to eat me. I think I would be mad. Don't you think you'd be mad? Sometimes you ever wake up in the morning from sleeping and you didn't want to get up? Sometimes? I know. It happens here at my house. And sometimes we can be grumpy bears. But sometimes with a little time and a little patience... It's okay to feel mad, but it's not okay to hurt somebody. So you should always look to an adult or a brother or sister. Maybe you have a special teddy bear that you can hug, and it makes you feel a whole lot better. So what did you think of this book? Did you like it? I hope that you did. Very good. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.